still needed hot chocolate. Any more anymore. <laughs> I can't believe it when people said it's more expensive than London, but yeah, it definitely is. This is probably the most unplanned video I've ever done. It is currently quarter to 11 at night. About half an hour ago, we've just booked some flights to Copenhagen for tomorrow, seven in the morning. I don't think I've ever done something like this, but let's pack for Copenhagen. So what I'm gonna pack is obviously some underwear and socks, t-shirts, two jumpers, one hat and one scarf, a belt, toiletries, a white pair of jeans, oversized blazer jacket, and then I'm gonna take those boots here as well. Okay, so it's a uh, 20 past 11 now, which means I really need to go to bed now. Quickly need to find how I'm gonna get to the airport tomorrow because I don't think the tube is going that early. I'm gonna see you very early tomorrow morning at the airport on our way to Copenhagen. <laughs> so we've just made it to Copenhagen and dropped off our luggage because we are a little bit early. And the plan is that we are going to town now, just like for the wonder. The sun came out even though it said it's going to be cloudy. The sun is actually out, which is really nice. I obviously had to go to a couple of interior shops and on the top of my list was Hair House in the center of the city. They had a lot of really fun, colorful designs and the view out of the building was also really cool. After our little stroll through the city, we then decided to do a canal tour to get to know Copenhagen a little bit better. If you are in the city, I definitely recommend you do it as well. We saw so many cool buildings and got so many insides of the city, but I'd say definitely make sure to get a sunny day because it can be quite chilly on the boat. We just came off a really really cool boat tour through the canals of Copenhagen. We thought it might be a really good idea to just do that on the first day just to get to know the city a little bit better and learn more about Copenhagen. There's like one postcard view after the other. I really really love the houses. They are absolutely gorgeous and we're now walking over to I think it's called New Haven which is like the typical area where everyone takes photos with the colorful houses in the background. It is actually much much colder than I thought it would be. I have my um, wool t-shirt on and a cash cardigan and another wool coat on top and it is freezing cold um, especially now as the sun is kind of going away a little bit and the clouds are coming out so definitely pack warm even though it's just October it's already pretty pretty cold so I need to show you I went into the Christmas shop before and I did actually end up buying one of these little ceramic houses where you can put a candle inside I thought it would be such a nice little Christmas decoration but yeah we're gonna head off now and then probably find a cafe or something and then head to the hotel to actually properly check in well needed hot chocolate I can barely move my fingers anymore <laughs> it's so cold mm. so I just had a one and a half hour nap which was very much needed and we are now on the way to dinner. What's it called? Uh, it's called War Pigs. War so it's Pigs, like a little yeah. gastro brewery. Apparently it's like it's quite popular for like craft beers in Copenhagen at least. Yeah so we're on the way there now. I've got a report back on how the food is but from the reviews online it looks really really good. And then we're also quite lucky because we're currently here during it's called dining week which is a week where a lot of really fancy restaurants offer a set menu for 250 kronen and uh, you can just book a table and like get really fancy meals for somewhat cheap I mean it's still expensive but for Copenhagen it's actually quite cheap so yeah that's the plan for tomorrow We just had lovely breakfast in Fredericksburg, that's the area we're currently in. 
and we're just outside um, the park. Funnily enough, it reminds me a little bit of Marlebone in the UK. That was kind of the area we lived as well, and it's so, so pretty here. So we're gonna go to the park now, and after the park, we said we're gonna head to Norebro. Norebro? I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that um, part of the city. That's where we're gonna go for lunch, and then probably back to the town. Need to see, we wanna go to a couple of museums as well. It's quite windy today, actually, so I'm like, a little bit better dressed than yesterday like i'm much warmer have my alpaca jumper and tights on and everything but yeah first impression is so so beautiful here honestly it's such a gorgeous city um, but yeah i'm excited to go to the park now because it's you can tell it's already getting autumn here and the sun is shining as well so having like the park with the golden leaves and the sunshine and maybe a coffee oh, honestly i just love it here it's so pretty After we've left the park, we got a bite to eat and I found some more interior shops in a way that I obviously had to check out as well. But we've actually been quite tired from the early flight from the day before, so we just had a quiet evening and we didn't film anything else that day. We have the next morning and as you can tell, it is freezing cold and very windy again. We just had a lovely breakfast and we're just walking down towards the design museum. So we, when we did the tour over the canals, um, we saw that this area is really, really lovely. There was kind of like a fancy um, supermarket area with a couple of shops and there was the design museum that I really want to go to. I heard that especially the museums have really good museum shops and I want to see if I find something, maybe some Christmas or birthday presents. And then in the evening we have actually managed to book a dinner with um, this offer that I told you about, the dinner week. I think it's like 35 euros per person for a three course dinner in like a really lovely restaurant. So yeah, that's the plan. Wish I would have brought sunglasses, but yeah, I'll try to take you along again as good as I can. Also, one more thing I wanted to mention. We've just been to breakfast. We had two coffees, a cinnamon bun and a croissant or pan au chocolat, and we paid 22 euros. Just to give you an idea how expensive it is here. I didn't quite believe it when people said it's more expensive than London, but yeah, it definitely is. So we just came to the harbour and this is the supermarket I was talking about. But we see if we can find some nice little gifts and maybe can try some more Danish local food because we haven't really tried anything yet. Like we've obviously been out eating but nothing was like actually Danish. So yeah, I want to see if I find anything. Before dinner we booked a restaurant through the dining week offer called 20A which is a cozy wine bistro. We got a super tasty three course dinner and some cocktails. The restaurant was nestled in a very trendy area so if you are looking for a place to go out for dinner or drinks definitely have a look around there. So it's our last day in Copenhagen. It's actually already four o'clock and our flight goes, I think at half past nine. And we had a pretty chill day. We went to a couple of coffee shops and we also went to a couple of museums. We actually went into the exhibition. I need to read this off because I forgot the name. Glyptothek, uh, which is basically a museum with a lot of statues, which was super, super interesting. But then we did also go to the Design, Architecture and National History Museum, more for the museum shops. I've read that the museum shops here are really good if you're looking for like small or gifts or in general like cool books and design pieces and they definitely have a really really good selection here so if you come to Copenhagen I think in general I feel like museum shops are always really good and I did pick up a few things and actually when I got home tomorrow I'm gonna sit down and give you like a little rundown of everything I picked up it's not a lot but a couple of cool things we're just walking through the park now and I'm probably head back to the hotel and then slowly gonna go to the airport. I don't think there's much more to report from Copenhagen right now, but I will, as I said, check back in tomorrow when we're back in Vienna and show you everything that I picked up. 
So I'm back home in my flat and as I promised, I'm gonna quickly show you everything that I have picked up in Copenhagen. The first thing I actually picked up, three of them, are these ceramic houses. I don't know if this is specifically a Christmas decoration in Denmark, but I walked past them and I really, really love them. They basically look like the houses in Copenhagen or in Denmark, and you can put a little light in the back and then obviously it looks really nice at night having the little light coming out of the windows. I picked up this small one here, which I think I showed you quickly in the vlog, and then I actually went back and picked up another two, one for a prison and one for myself. So I picked up this one here as well, which I, oh, I love the color, the orange. It looks so nice together. I thought it would just look really pretty if you have like two houses. And then I did, as I said, also pick up a third one, which I got as a present, which is this little uh, barn house here. Again, you can put in the light on the side. So I just couldn't leave those ones behind. They were just so adorable, so cute. And then I also picked up this cute little cut out for a gingerbread man. Uh, the reason is mainly because we said we wanted to make some gingerbread mints this winter and we didn't have a cutout form yet and I just walked past a little market and they had loads of these little cutout forms and I thought it's just like really adorable. It was just the perfect size and um, I think it was around six euros and just just couldn't leave it behind. And then I picked up some new sunglasses. That was actually quite a random little purchase. I didn't plan to buy new sunglasses. I was on the hunt for new sunglasses that kind of looked like this, but I didn't plan to buy them in Copenhagen. And these were 22 euros and they look like this. And I was already on a hunt for sunglasses that have a bit more of a cat eye and just suit my face shape. And I just really liked them. I think they look really cool. And they're from this brand here. I can't quite pronounce it. I think it's AK. Better. And then the last thing that I picked up at the airport, you can buy them in supermarkets as well, but I didn't have check-in luggage, so I had to go to the airport, are these fish. So those are canned fish. One is a Danish freshwater trout, which I did actually try while I was there. I did buy it in a supermarket and just bought a piece of bread and had it for lunch, and it was really, really yummy. And this one is a Faroe Island salmon. From what I've seen, this is quite a common brand that you can find in Denmark. So yeah, that was everything that I picked up in Denmark. I know it wasn't too much, but we've only been there for four days, and I rather wanted to spend my money and time doing things like going on a boat trip or going out for dinner, just on sightseeing and experiences and food and drinks to be honest but yeah i really really enjoyed my time in copenhagen autumn in copenhagen is just absolutely stunning we were quite lucky with the weather as well and having all of the autumn leaves around the beautiful city and the buildings was just absolutely stunning i had the best time there i would definitely recommend if you're going plan about three to four days i think there was a good time to go but yeah i really hope you enjoyed coming along to copenhagen with me on this little trip and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you soon in my next video bye